Hey guys, in this episode, I'm going to talk about templatey components for Blazor apps. Templatey components make it super easy to have consistent UI components across your application. Let's talk about it. Let's say I have an HTML table where I'm showing some information and I want to make it look nicer. So I add some CSS to it. You know, I add some background color to the headers, add some stripes to the rows, add scroll so that, you know, I'll be able to scroll on the table. So it's looking nice. But then I have another table. Do you want me to reapply all that CSS again? That way we lose consistency, right? Because if I do want to change CSS for all my tables, I'll have to go to each and every table in my application to change the CSS. That's a lot of work. So instead of doing that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a templated component, which will be empty, but I'll apply the CSS, which I want for all my tables to have. And then I will pass all this information as a render fragment. Then it doesn't matter if I'm passing all this information or publishers information. And if I do want to change CSS, what I'll do, I'll just go back to my templated component and change CSS there. And it will get affected to all the components, all the tables that I have in my application. Let's look at the demo. So I'm going to use the same application where you can see in authors page, I've already applied the CSS, but in my publishers page, I'm still using the HTML table. So instead of applying, reapplying the CSS to publisher table, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a templated component for this table and then use that templated component across my application. Let's do that. So I'm going to go to my code here and this is authors component where I have already applied the CSS. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to copy this um, table, which is looking nicer, where I've already applied the CSS and add a component. Add a component and call it as table template. Here, and I'm, uh, I'm going to paste that table. Um, you can see that this table is looking nicer. But wherever you see um, all this information, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say that uh, I want that information from my parent component. I want, um, I want it to be a parameter which will be sent by the parent as a render fragment. So you can see that we have this header, um, header columns here for the authors. And so instead of that, we would like a table header table header as a render fragment. So let's go ahead and create this uh, render fragment parameter here in my code. So I'm going to say it's a parameter of type render render fragment and the name is table header and this will be passed by my parent. Okay, so now we have in my top table body, I'm looping through authors list and showing the information which will be caught in authors list. So we do not want author list, we want items. We would like to make our table template as a generic table so that it can handle any item. So I'm gonna name it as items. I'm gonna say this is item and it takes item in, uh, in my var here. Nice. We do not have this items. This items will be list of type uh, of type generic item. So let's go ahead and create that list. So I'm gonna say this is also uh, passed through parameter, uh, through parent, and uh, the property of this will be, will be read only list. And um, I'm gonna call it as items. I'm gonna call it as items. And the type of this item is going to be generic. So I'm going to say that it's going to be T item. But then we'll have to we'll have to define what this T item is. This T item is of type type param, which will be like which is a generic type, which will be passed from a parent. So we know that what kind of items are we dealing with here. Nice. Sweet. So now we have items, we have header we have this uh, information which is related to authors. So instead of that, I'm going to say that instead of this information that we're looping through, we would like to have a row template. 
our O template, which will be of type render fragment, but this will take item as parameter so that it knows what to render. Nice. And like I said, row template is again going to be render fragment. So I'm going to copy this and create another render fragment property of name row template. Nice. And it takes item as um, as parameter. So let's say that it takes t item t item as parameter. Sweet. So our table template is ready now. We can go ahead and use this table template. Let's replace the table template in our authors page here. It's very simple. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm going to say that instead of using this table, this old table where we are uh, applied CSS to only one place, I would like to use table template. Table template which takes items, which takes items, and I'm going to copy that item from here. You can see that I'm looping through authors list so i'm going to pass this author list to items so that a table template knows what to uh, what to loop through okay and a table template takes table header and table header is pretty static which will be passed as this parameters author id first name last name city and all that so i'm going to pass that here so that it knows what headers to show for the table template now i would i will have to pass row template row template which will loop through author list and show authors related information which i'm going to copy this for each loop and i'm going to copy this where i'm showing all this information and paste it here now you can see that we're getting some errors because our row template does not know what author is so let's tell uh, a row template that it's of type author so the author list that we are getting is items and context means that it's the generic type that you need to loop through so this is how you can change your whole um a whole table into a table template and then we do not need we do not need this css applied table i'm going to get rid of it nice let's run this and see if this works So if I go to my authors page, boom, there you go. You can see that it's using our table uh, template component instead of using the old HTML. Now let's go ahead and apply the same table template to our publishers page. Let's see how easy it is. So I go to my publishers page and instead of using this table, I would like to use my table template. And here I'm gonna say uh, the items are publisher list. This is where you'll find the items. If you want header, table header. This, these are the headers that we would like to show. And if you want row template, then you can get uh, the publisher's information. You'll need to loop through this. And then eventually I'll have to say what this publisher is. I'll copy this and paste it here. Paste it here. Nice. And then we do not need this old table where we do not even have any CSS. Let's run this and see if this works. So if I go to my authors page, I have the templated component and I have the same templated component for my publishers page too. So this is how you apply templated components and have consistent UI components for your application. Now let's say if I want to change uh, the background color for my headers, the only thing that I need to do is go to my table template and change the class. And if I run this, it, it should get affected for all the tables in the application. So if I log in, go to my authors page, you can see that the background color changed for my authors page and it, it changed 
for my publishers table too. So this is how awesome it is to use templated components. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me on Twitter or Facebook and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.